Habitat for Humanity works in partnership with people from all walks of life to eliminate impoverished housing by building simple, decent, affordable homes for those in need. Habitat for Humanity uh, represents a lot of things. First of all, and most importantly, we're a construction company. It's about eliminating substandard housing. Habitat received a donation of two lots on the 500 block of Severe Street in the 1990s at a time when it was known as the worst street in the area. It was a really bad neighborhood. There was lots of substandard housing. Uh, Severe Street was one of our, probably one of the most dangerous streets in town. And they had become sort of uh, centers for, 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 for crime, if you will. They've taken an area that was quite run down, um, drug dealers and um, just sad looking homes. And then I saw what it was able to do to restore some of our blighted neighborhoods, those that had deteriorated. Bringing in the, the newer homes, it helped to, uh, I think, do away with a lot of that, to be able to uh, give people hope for the future, be able to improve the neighborhoods and, and give people some encouragement. Well, sure, you've gone from a, a street that was almost uh, completely rental property to folks owning their own property. Whenever you own something, obviously you have that pride of ownership in there and you, you know, it, it, it generally makes you want to try to do your best to, to take care of the property. The other thing about the community is you start to see uh, a different feel among the residents. Uh, the, the persons that were kind of worried uh, because the neighborhood was uh, seemingly going in a negative direction to start to get a sense of new life, new birth. Habitat for Humanity doesn't just build houses, they also build lives. After a family is accepted into the Habitat program, we call them partner families. They're not homeowners yet, but we look at this very much as a partnership. It's an excitement that it's hard to describe. We work hard, we sweat, we do just like anybody else. One of the things that they do is sweat equity. Sweat equity is actual physical labor, hands-on work that the uh, partner families are putting in their house. Um, in some respects, it goes on the philosophy of time is money, and in the sense that it somewhat increases their own sense of value for the home because literally, they help build it with their own hands. It makes you proud. Uh, I mean, like I say, you learn so much. I have learned so much in this program. We started the uh, first homeowner buyers classes which help us to manage money. We pay mortgage like anybody else. They keep us, you know, they you keep, know, help, us, on keep the right us on the right road, road you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I like that. We go into those home lives and say, hey, let's rebuild morals. Let's rebuild mores and norms. Habitat for Humanity's enduring effect on the community cannot be ignored and would not be possible without you, the volunteer. In building a Habitat home, it takes about 180 volunteers. And to have churches, organizations, businesses, individuals come out and help just saves us money and ensures that we're able to build more homes. I would encourage anybody to do it. And there's not, there's not anything any reason that a person couldn't help, you know, there's not a physical limitation. You could overcome, there's so many things that can be done. I mean, it's hot out here, you know, and it's dirty, but it's good. You feel good afterwards, so. Oh, I, it's, it's a great learning experience. And if I were to ask them a question, I'd say, how often can you come out? Why should you do ha Habitat? Why shouldn't anybody do Habitat? You are making a difference. One of the great things about making a donation and working with Habitat is that unlike donating money to other nonprofits or other charities, you get to see a tangible result. I just want to say thank you. I would like to say thank you. I love y'all. Couldn't do it without y'all.